Hello, hello, this is Carlos Vargas for ContainerKing.Ninja and today in this video we are going to enable a new feature on Windows 10 called Windows Subsystem for Linux and that will allow us to run Windows and Ubuntu at the same time. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to right click on our start menu, going to go to control panel and we're going to go to programs, turn on Windows features. And the first thing that we had to do is that we had to enable this new feature that was released with Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. So you need to have that enabled. And we have a blog post for that. So we will put it on the comment for this video. So just tick the check mark, click OK. That will download and solve files and apply some settings. And now the first thing that we had to do is that we had to reboot our computer. So let's restart our computer. Okay, and we're back after the reboot. So now let's go to the second step. Let's go back to our start menu. Now let's go to the settings. And under settings, we're gonna go to update security. And then we're gonna click for developers. We need to enable the developer mode. And it's gonna tell us that there's a risk because you're going to be, you can install, it's not that this feature is going to be, but you can install now apps from other places. It's going to download some files and we are good to go now. So our next step is that we're going to search for bash. And when we type bash, it looks like nothing is installed. But what this will do is that it will enable us to go and download the files. So in this window, just click yes. It will download the files. And depending on your connection, it can be a couple of seconds or it could be a couple of minutes. Okay, so the installation is almost done. Now it's gonna ask you for a username. So type your username. And then you're gonna type a password. And you're done. Your new Ubuntu on Windows 10 is completely installed. So how do you access it? So we go back and we type bash and you can access it the way that I do it. I just right click on it and I pin it to my taskbar. And now I have it right here. So I can just click on it and I'm back online. So I can see that my machine is up and running and I can use all my regular Linux commands. So if I want to download a package, I can use the apt command, or if I want to do a configuration of a file, so I can use the nano. So let's do a quick nano test file. So right here, I can do hello world, and I can save it because I am using all my regular Linux tools. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, leave us a comment. Thank you.